Hey guys, I uh, this Adam with the Great Ghost Tactical get the get it up, up, up. That's easy for me to say. Hey guys, this is Adam with Great Ghost Tactical again, and uh, a buddy of mine gave me a uh, tourniquet to review. Uh, as you can tell, it's brand new. It's in the package. Uh, this came from AliExpress, so it is um, Chinese. Um, however. Let's open it up and check the build quality on it, okay? All right, so just open up the package here. And this is a $6 tourniquet, by the way, just to let you know. Damn, the plastic's tough on this thing. Definitely would want to take it out of the plastic before you go to use it. So let's see what it's got here. We got the tourniquet. It's got a nice tight time thing on it. And oh, looks like it's actually got some pretty nice instructions here. Pause that for a second. Yeah, so it shows you everything that's on there, what it comes with. Pretty fair instructions. And, um, let's see. Oh, it, on the back it's got a uh, instructions for double-handed legs, uh, friction buckles, cautions. So it says that this is a, um, says it's medical grade, single use. Um, it's good for five years. All right, let's open it up. Pretty impressed by the um, uh, instruction so far. So first off, let me say that uh, I am not an EMT or paramedic or anything like that. Uh, we are trained to use these in our search and rescue class. Um, we use one that's kind of similar. It's uh, a little different, but uh, similar. So let's open it up and see what we got here. Okay, so looks like a pretty good, Velcro's pretty decent on it. All right, yeah, put it in there. I mean, looks to be in pretty good build here, and uh, it's got a plastic uh, a torque torque wrench on it. I'm not too fond of that. And, uh, I prefer the ones with metal, but um, yeah, I believe this thing would would close up. And uh, the way you work it is, hold on a second, let me put it on something like that. And then you tighten it down with the Velcro. And then you open this here. And sorry, this is all one-handed on a very, very small screen. And you would twist, so like that. And then when you've got it tight and there's no circulation, you let it go and you, or you keep it tight and then you put the, that to keep it, to hold it tight. Um, yeah. Overall, I think it's a decent tourniquet. And uh, is this medical grade? Uh, probably not. Would it work? Yeah, probably. I mean, you can use a stiff rubber band or a belt or a bandana or anything, really, that, that'll cut the blood flow off. Uh, is it worth, say, five or six dollars? Yeah, I believe so. Um, they actually got a three pack that's like sixteen dollars. I saw, and um, you know, this would be this would be great to throw in a kit, like a bug out bag, or you know, keep in your car. Um, 
would it save your life yeah probably i mean the velcro is pretty good the uh straps straps are made out of a like a nylon um the only thing that i really worry about that might break is the actual pin which is a a pivotal part but the um you know i think you could probably get away with it if it did i mean worst case scenario you jab a regular regular pin in there torque it down or sharpie or something um but yeah i think this would be like i said for uh six or seven dollars shipped uh this would be great and uh, just throw in your car and uh if you buy the three pack you can get you know five or six uh or you you know six of them for 30 bucks and um put one in each vehicle and one inside your house and um you know uh possibly save somebody's life for six dollars this could possibly save your life and the good thing about it is is, is it's actually big enough to go and do a um i don't know the exact dimensions here but you could probably you could definitely do a thigh on that too so this could work as an arm or a leg um tourniquet um a lot of them will only work as a like an upper extremity tourniquet so uh, overall i give this a four stars um if this had an aluminum aluminum turner or a tor torque wrench on it it would uh i would give it a five um but you know like i said this is pretty great the uh and uh you know you can read up on how to use it and uh pretty easy like i said you just take and you get it as tight as you can you put it over the extremity that's bleeding above it you get it as tight as you can with the velcro make sure the velcro is secure you open up that white white band there and then uh you torque it with the wrench here by twisting it as tight as you can and when you get it as tight as you can and there's no longer a pulse or like blood pulsing that's when um you strap it down back inside here and then you write the time on it always write the time on it so when the uh, ems or emergency personnel actually does get there they know uh when to change it when to take it off how long it's been on and um you know if the limb is a if the limb could be affected or not but uh yeah so overall i give this a uh i give this four out of five um invest in one could save a life could save your life could save a loved one's life all right this is adam with great ghost tactical signing out